Hey everyone, I'm back with another update. I've got some really exciting news today. The, uh, the craft is still orbiting Mars, and they took this opportunity to get out and perform an EVA. EVA is extra vehicular activity. Uh, essentially all they're doing is just doing another inspection. They've been on a, uh, on a long course so far. They wanted to make sure they didn't hit any uh, space junk along the way and damage the exterior of the craft. Uh, everything so far looks really good. Uh, their primary concerns were the heat pads underneath the craft. Uh, those, of course, will be important upon re-entry to the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, they did encounter a minor, uh, I guess we would say, disappointing discovery. And that was the, uh, the mechanism that the craft uses to land on water. Now, it's, uh, it's a gas-based uh, substance that fills, well, not a gas-based substance, it is a gas, that fills these things. So the preferred method for this craft to land is to, in essence, after it enters the Earth's atmosphere, uh, if you're familiar with, uh, with the uh, Mercury and Apollo-type missions, you know, the capsules, they had the parachutes that deployed them, you know, after uh, re-entering the atmosphere, and they essentially floated down to Earth, assisted by a parachute, and, and landed in the water. And that's a similar technique, but not quite. This one, uh, this craft, when it enters the atmosphere, after it enters the atmosphere, it cools off for just a few seconds. It deploys these, uh, these gases that inflate these, they're kind of like balloons in a way, in the sense that they slow the descent. Now the problem is, because of this malfunction, those balloons may or may not deploy. Now, if they don't, it, uh, hold on one second. I've got, I've got an update coming in. So it was one of the seven. Oh, it was two of the seven. Oh, okay. And they're side by side. Keep me informed. Thank you. Okay, it looks like two of the seven uh, inflatable pods, I guess we'll call it. I don't, I don't have an exact uh, name for this piece of craft. But two of them are malfunctioning, and the, and the bad part is they're side by side. Not that this is a problem, but what that means is that it would really create a... Uh, an unrecoverable tumble if, if these two side by side were not inflated. So the, the positive news though here is that this craft is equipped with an alternative uh, landing mechanism and it's not a splashdown type thing where it uses the uh, gases and the balloons to float down. It actually lands. So it's these skids that are deployed and they've got a really slick surface and they're okay by the way. They've already checked these out. Uh, but these skids, and it, it uh, basically it glides down to Earth kind of like the space shuttle, if you've seen the space shuttle. It's, it's, a, really, uh, it's a really fast descent, though. I mean, this, this is a heavy craft, like the space shuttle, it's heavy. So they've really got to control their descent, and they've got to hit it at the right angle. So it is, it is going to... Uh, involve some, as opposed to splash down, where it's pretty much inflate the uh, seven inflatable devices, float down to earth and land in the water. This is going to require some uh, navigational skills. So, not a problem. I'm sure they'll find a, uh, a place on earth that's uh, flat, uh, preferably a desert or somewhere. They, they're not, uh, <clears throat> well, there's humans on board too, but the aliens are not out to get us. I mean, they're good people, good, good aliens rather. So they'll probably find a place, if I had to guess, I'd say in the desert somewhere, and they'll perform a controlled landing. So I'm, it's, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, I'm very confident. And uh, the rest of the uh, uh, the rest of the EBA is ongoing. So far, they haven't encountered, discovered any other issues, rather. So things are looking really good. And, and everything, of course, is still on schedule for March. Um, I'll keep everyone as posted as I can. And... Uh, Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in.